Welcome to Ant Hill Casting with Molten Aluminum, where I use my homemade foundry for melting aluminum cans uh, to make homemade projects. Here I put the charcoal into my foundry and uh, start it up with some, some regular lighter fluid. Then I uh, add my crucible, add more charcoal, and turn my hair dryer on to low, and then wait. Uh, while I'm waiting, I'm going to bank up the anthill hole uh, that I've chosen. And I'm using just regular sand uh, around this. It uh, forms a nice funnel when I remove the uh, little liner. And then I continue to fill in around the hole. You want to make a really nice angled hole for the aluminum to flow into. And so you've got a nice looking base. Uh, you can see that after about 15 minutes my foundry is up to temperature and I can just drop cans in and they basically just disappear and turn into aluminum. Um, it takes a lot of cans to fill up my crucible, but uh, it's a good use of them. It's recycling, so I like it. Once I've finished melting all the aluminum cans, I pour my molten aluminum into the anthill, uh, slowly adding as the aluminum flows into the anthill uh, to make sure that I've got a nice base left. Uh, once the aluminum solidifies, I can start slowly digging around it, noting that there could, it could still be liquid inside, uh, so I'm very, very careful to start with, but usually once I've done this, I just can't wait to see what I've got. Uh, so after a little while, I can start digging uh, carefully with a trowel. You want to be very careful because some of these little passageways, especially with the tiny ants like made this anthill, uh, are very small and very fragile. Uh, and as you can see, the aluminum will travel a long ways in a very, very tiny passageway. Um, so, like I said, you have to be very careful so you don't bend or break one of the passages. I would like to say here that I do not recommend that anyone pour molten aluminum in their backyard without all of the correct protective gear. Um, it is extremely dangerous. Molten aluminum is over 1200 degrees Fahrenheit, so you can be burned extremely bad. Uh, here I've almost dug out the entire anthill casting, uh, and there it is. And after all that digging, when I first started spraying it off, you could see just how hot it was since the steam came off of it. So here's the finished ant casting. You can see on the base that I put in the year. Um, and here is a little video of the intricacy of the ant casting. Um, it's very impressive to see that a little tiny ant could make such a nice piece of art. Uh, thank you for joining me for Ant Hill Casting with Molten Aluminum. Goodbye.